Hello. This series of videos explains how to work with solid models from SolidWorks in Mastercam 2019. It's a little different um, when you're importing a solid model than when you actually draw something out in Mastercam. So I wanted to do a series of videos to explain that. Um, and get it ready for a toolpath. So the first thing we want to do is open it. So we just click on the open and um, it defaults to Mastercam file. So we want to open a SolidWorks file. So we have to go down here where it says SolidWorks files. Click on that. And this is actually on my desktop. It's the part example. I click on that and open. And now we can set up our machine. We're going to use mill default. We want to go into the properties and set our stock up. The origin of this program is going to be in the lower left hand corner. Click on that. We set up the stock size. It's going to be in this particular one, it's five and a half inches by six and a half inches, and it's only a half inch thick. We're also going to click on display. So we can see the stock and then in our tool settings you can put our program number and you can have your feed calculation from tool from material we're going to do it from material and our material is aluminum so that's okay we can set our tool pass to assign automatically assign the tool number sequ sequentially and we can use the tools step pack and cool it. You can also change your sequence numbers if you want to. That should be okay. All right, we can clearly see Lots of times when you import a SOLIDWORKS file, it doesn't orientate correctly in Mastercam. So we just have to go in and, and move our part around so it'll fit in the stock. So to do that, we go into transform. And the first thing we have to do is to rotate it. So we need to change the view, in this case, to the right hand side. And then we can go to transform, rotate, and we have to select the entire part. And selection, and it always defaults to copy, we don't want to copy it, we want to move it. So we change this to move. And we can just drag this and rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. And just click OK. We go back to view. You can see that our part's in the rec correct orientation. It's just not at the origin. So then the, the next thing we can do is go back to transform and move to origin. And we select this corner right here and it moves it into orange. Okay. Now we're ready to start setting up tool paths for our project. Thanks for watching.